Welcome to Soul Planet. We make solar for everybody. Three easy steps to install Soul Planet inverters. Watch this short installation video. Download the app. Install the inverter and connect with the app. This video is intended for qualified installers. Please refer to the safety instructions included in the box. Soul Planet 8K to 20K LT G2 series inverter is a three-phase transformerless string inverter with two independent MPPTs. It converts the direct current, DC, generated by the photovoltaic PV module into a three-phase alternating current, AC, and feeds it into the utility grid. This video illustrates how to mount, install, and commission Soul Planet three phased inverter. Soul Planet inverters are quick and easy to install, only requiring a standard set of tools. Thoroughly inspect the packaging upon delivery. If you detect any damage to the packaging, which indicates the inverter may have been damaged, inform the responsible shipping company immediately. We will be glad to assist you if required. Carefully check all the components in the carton. In case anything is missing, please contact your dealer. Soul Planet inverters are efficient and reliable. All product information is on the outside of the inverter and connections are conveniently placed on the bottom. Avoid exposing the inverter to direct sunlight, rain and snow to ensure optimal operation and extend service life. Mount the inverter on a vertical wall. Position the wall bracket horizontally. Use the wall bracket as a drilling template and mark the positions of the drill holes. Drill holes with a drill. After drilling holes in the wall, place screw anchors into the holes. Then attach the wall mounting bracket to the wall using the self-taping screws delivered with the inverter. Hand the inverter onto the wall mounting bracket. Check both sides of the heat sink to ensure that it is securely in place. Secure the inverter to the wall mounting bracket on both sides using the accompanied screws. To ensure adequate heat dissipation, the clearances between the inverter and other objects are recommended as follows. Switch off the miniature circuit breaker and ensure it against being inadvertently switched back on. The AC cable requirements are as follows. Loosen the swivel nut of AC connector. Insert the crimped conductors into corresponding terminals and tighten screws with the accompanied Allen key. Insert the adapter to the socket element, stuff the seal ring into the adapter and tighten the swivel nut. Plug the AC connector into the socket for the AC connection. If required, you can connect a second protective conductor as equipotential bonding. Disconnecting the PV array, make sure the AC circuit breaker is connected and the DC switch is in the off position before stripping the off the cable insulation. Route the stripped cable all the way into the DC connector. Ensure that the stripped cable and the DC connector have the same polarity.
press the clamping bracket down until it audibly snaps into place. Ensure that the cable is correctly positioned. Push the swivel nut up to the thread and tighten. Connecting the PV array, check whether the DC connector has the correct polarity. Ensure that the open circuit voltage of the PV array does not exceed the maximum DC input voltage of the inverter. Connect the assembled DC connectors to the inverter until they audibly snap into place. Ensure that all DC connectors are securely in place. Seal the unused DC inputs with sealing plugs so that moisture and dust cannot penetrate the inverter. Soul Planet 3 or Face Inverters provide three different modes of communication. Depending on the installation region, RS485 and Wi-Fi slash 4G stick. This can based on your requirements. Be chosen during the order process. RS485 cable pin assignment as below. Check the cable with the cable tester. Make sure the cable is connected. Lead the stripped cable through the cable gland and communication plate. Press the latch of the smart meter terminal and insert the stripped cable accordingly. Make sure the cable is connected firmly. Insert the cable into the socket. Check the PE connection with a multimeter. Make sure that the inverter's exposed metal surface has a ground connection. Check the grid voltage. Check that the grid voltage at the point of connection of the inverter complies with the permitted value. Switch on the miniature circuit breaker and DC switch. The inverter is equipped with three LED indicators which provide information about the various operating states as follows. Now download the app and connect the inverter.